Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today we're gonna take a look at two short, cute little shaggy styles by Ellen Villa, each from a separate collection. Coming up. So the first one we're gonna take a look at today, this one is called Wing in the color Champagne Toned. Now this is a part of Ellen Villa's Elements collection. I think this was rolled out in 2020, if I'm not mistaken, featuring a lot of cute little styles at affordable price points. Typically you won't see a lot of monofilament and lace in these styles, uh, but they're really adorable and they have some uh, custom, more customized colors for this collection. So today we're gonna take a look at this one called Wing in the color Champagne Toned. Let's talk about Champagne Toned. So Champagne Toned is a mixture of blondes. As you can imagine, we're looking at maybe more of a medium honey blonde. And in there you, you are gonna see some beige blondes and some pale gold blondes. Overall, I think this is pretty neutral. You've got a nice neutral base with the beige and the honey. There's just a slight amount of pale gold blonde highlighting there, just enough to brighten it up, but not enough to make it super warm. So it's a combination of some neutrals and some warm. So I think this is pretty much a neutral shade. There's a really subtle root going on there too. It's more of a light brown that kind of transitions seamlessly. It just looks like such natural regrowth. And that's more of a golden brown root, it looks like to me. Um, but beautifully, tr beautiful transition, no stark lines there. I think this color is really well done. And if you like neutral to warm shades, I think you're really gonna like this. So let's take a look at the dimensions for Ellen Villa's wing. So we've got a four to four and a half inch bang area here. That just kind of scoots right above the eyebrow and back into the style. It's super easy to wear. It stays out of the face kind of permanently. Now, if you enjoy a straight across bang that you wear straight down, I think it would be very easy to just sort of not cut in a little bit of a dirty straight across bang there so that it hangs straight down. In the back, right around four and a half inches on the crown and a two inch nape. So as that nape meets the crown area, you're gonna get a little bit of shaggy wedge effect in that layering in the back, which gives a little bit of natural bump right there. And then there's another four and a half inch layer here on the sides, which just kind of sweeps right back into the style. So a nice fresh look on this, lots and lots of texture and layers. The cap is an open cap, so you'll find open wefts on the top sides and back. Now there is a little bit, a dime size piece of monofilament right there at the crown. It's so small that you can barely even see it from the inside of the cap, let alone the outside. But what it does, it gives you a little bit of natural indentation there that gives you the illusion that that's uh, you know, how the hair is parted at the crown. I think it gives it a little bit of a natural look at the crown rather than having that knot of permatease there. So I mean, overall, I think it's really well done. There is some permatease. You're gonna find some heavier permatease on the top crown some on the sides, very, very little at the back or the nape, just all the right amounts in all the right places, nothing too stuffy and hot. Um, just typical for your open cap style like this. Each one of these fibers is really fine, baby fine, and feathery light to the touch. It has a silky feeling to it, and it has a finer wispier movement, not a lot of body. So next we're gonna talk about a style called Rays in the color Champagne Rooted. Now Rays is a part of the Ellen Villa Changes collection. A little edgier, it has some really nice cap features. One feature that I have noticed in this collection is that the cap sizes are more average 
than some of the more petite average uh, typical cap sizes in the Ellen Villa line. So I'm not quite sure that it's gonna fit large. Um, I don't feel like there's enough stretch for that, but it is more average. So if you're up to 22, possibly 22 and a quarter, something like that, you might be able to get a much better fit from the Changes collection um, of Ellen Villa versus the other collection. So let's take a look at Rays. You can see it's a cute little shaggy textured cut, kind of similar to, to the wing that we just looked at, but it's got some wavy appeal to it. Um, I have watched one of the review of this style and it wasn't quite as wavy as this one. So I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just box hair that's working in my favor. <laughs> Um, let's take a look at the Champagne Rooted real quick. Champagne Rooted is a mixture of some beige and some gold blondes with a medium brown root. It's going to be a little bit warmer than the Champagne Toned that we just looked at because it has a lot more golden uh, highlighting to it. It's a nice light blonde overall, very dynamic and pretty typical of the Champagne Rooted color that I have seen by Ellen Villa. Sometimes you can see some variability among their blondes, uh, champagne being champagne rooted being one of them. I have seen more golden and more beige. This one is more on the golden side. So taking a look at rays, that front piece is about four and a half inches. Now again, I see a little bit of lift here in contour with some of this waviness. This is right out of the box, no product, just sh basically shaking it, finding a part. Um, so those waves do have a role to play in that fringe as um, it may be, at least on this piece, a little more difficult to get that straight, uh, straight down look. I can certainly tamp it down and scoot it over the eyebrow, but it just kind of wants to pop right back up there as you can see, which I rather like a little bit of lift at the front. And it's fortunate uh, because it exposes that beautiful lace front. So we've got about a four, four inch bang, four to four and a half inch bang there at the front, about seven and a half inches off of the crown and about a two and a half inch nape. It's got a shaggy stack, stacking in the back, the same as wing. Um, it just looks so much like wing, but just a little bit smoother and curlier, wavier. Okay, there's about another seven inch layer off of the crown. <clears throat> Very easy to manipulate and maneuver. Again, that full lace front on this style and a bigger kind of an almond shaped amount of monofilament at the crown, open wefts in between and all over. Let's take a look at this lace front. I'm really impressed with this lace front. So if you like wing, but you just wanna be able to do some up and over styling and expose that hairline, you're really gonna like this lace front. It runs temple to temple. So it does show off the fine fiber here. So it's a fine, silky, baby fine fiber. It's just an average density as well. There's plenty of hair here. I wouldn't consider it super light density. Although when you start to add a lot of layers to a style, even if it's a thicker, thicker density, it's really gonna uh, cut down on the heavy feeling. This is really super light, easy to wear. I feel like even though it's got some lace to it, that it's a real plug and chug style. Just shake it out, that's all I did. Shake it out, just arrange it with your fingers and out the door you go. You're gonna find some permatease over those wefts on the top, some at the crown and back, uh, very little at the bottom and at the nape, very, very little there, and very little right at, over the ear tab.
So thanks again for joining me today for a look at two short little shaggy do's by Ellen Villa. Check them out at Wig Studio One in the links below this video. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.